Hello, I'm Emily Lim. Um, I write children's books and I'm from Singapore. Um, there are nine fruits that should come forth in spirited children's book of writing. Uh, the first fruit is be less of a telltale. Uh, basically, when you write your story, don't um, spend too much time narrating the story to your reader. Instead, you should add dialogue, um, show action, have an emotional connection to the readers. Um, this is what will keep them reading on. The second fruit um, is have strong beginnings because that, that is what the reader will uh, keep them turning the page. Um, have a hopeful ending. Children, children need hope and that is critical when you write children's books. Write for a greater purpose. Um, don't, don't try to write a bestseller. Try to write your hopes. Your characters are important. They need to be memorable. So um, your characters must be realistic and relatable. By the same time, they should have um, a special quality that makes them stand out um, and remembered. Um, also for your characters, always remember they need to grow in wisdom. Um, as a writer, you need to show grace to your character. Uh, no one is all good or all bad. So a good character will have flaws um, and a bad character will have saving graces. Um, <laughs> clarity. Uh, clarity in conflict and resolution. Uh, that's very important. Um, a good story will need to have a story problem and the problem will need to have clarity and solutions. Uh, it needs to be resolved satisfactorily by the time you reach the end of the book. For the eighth fruit, um, I'll say you should have faith in your reader. Um, for your child reader, don't talk down to them. When you write to them, don't moralize. Uh, you are a writer, not a preacher. So um, just write a good story and have faith that your reader will take away something from it. Uh, what, what you intended to say in your message. And finally, um, for the knife fruit, I would say have a truthful voice. Be authentic um, in how you write. Um, find your voice. Uh, avoid cliches. Be true to your writing. Uh, why, why are you writing? And um, always remember that.